okay, because you don't depend on this uh no life steal on Medusa. So they're charging it. It's a level three timing. They get the Medusa, they just chain bashing with this tether overcharge. Catching yours a bit by surprise. How far do they want to chase? They get another cross for the first one. It's elsewhere. Mr. Observer, Pithy, and catching the kill up top. As it's bottom lane where Magma do end up chasing. Creeps plus the Ayo plus the They take this tower really slowly. We're trying to take this one, but the DK is there with the Dragon Tail set up. The IO deals are not going to be enough. That's the starter. That's the important hero we're talking about. Brought down, and the poor IO finds himself getting TP'd on by a nature's problem. This is pretty obvious coming out from Magma, I think. Backing off, and instead it's going to be something to say fine. There's the Ice Plus. They. Let's say they relocate, but I'm not sure they need that one. The puck AA having the damage. Oh, they're gonna kill bot though. Elephant smoke top. Oh yeah. They're waiting for the relocate to come back. Where is the little it, ball? Where is it? They found it. Slada. He's oh, that found it. Arrow with an earth with a dragon tail arrow waiting for him. The damage is fine. Is out for the sick god. Is the back on the IO? It turns it around. This is huge for Magma. The puck showing up with the TP in as well. They've kept Slada alive. I don't know if they knew the IO had a place with some of these puck coil and they're going to find another one in the mid lane the coil ice blast follow up and they bring down the nature's prophet the damage with the ice blast the shadow will be there it looks like the yeah, the io coming on in with a relocate did is walking into them they see the medusa can they kill the medusa he's dead he comes to relocate with the coil ice he's blast follow up. and yep that should be a dead medusa this could be the kill you mentioned the wraith king's team with rush. the desolator they yeah that's that's pretty that's Pretty sloppy, man. Not gonna lie, by elephant. <laughs> well versed on the old IO spirit. The IO technology. Oh, the arrow! What? Oh my god, it's, it's still Roche. And we see, you know, often this Sire offlane kind of falls off, but with the Midas, he's got some good farming going. F by blinks in with the Yules. Finds the iron and Arrow catches the creep and the tether away. He still gets hit by a dragon tail, but the first one are not gonna land. Now a three-man coil coming in from Dust. The fall from Shylock is gonna be there. Wraith by blast out on the Dragon Knight. But it doesn't look like Magma have the damage. And against the Scotty timing on the Medusa, I'm not sure this is a fight they want to take. Wraith King will lose his first slice, has a couple more. Arrow will catch him on the respawn. That's the Aegis now. Spell trouble for Shylock. This is stun. He's gonna get helped out by the IO tether, and it looks like Elephant don't want to overcommit on this one. Slaughter on the side, the he's crowded up. He's up the Fulic Blade, Yules, it's up. Arrow coming up as well, but oh. the silence is there. Dust, he saves the Slaughter with that one. You mentioned the, the five positions with four stuff. It's Magma who able to get one on their AA, so they've got that little bit of extra save to go with the IO. As they jump in on the mid lane, they go in on the right team, they kill him once, can they kill him a second time? Slaughter falls over the blink stun. There's gonna be a tether on the Slaughter as well. They force years to pop oh. the stuff, Dust. Or they bad. call the Ayo, they put a two-man Urs for the Shylock in trouble, they blow the Ayo, and now Shylock, he's got nobody to really help him out. He's getting low, he's gonna get punched to death by Super, and oh boy, Slada just melting to the right clicks as well. There's no running away from this Scotty Medusa with the day of has managed to get the force out to the high ground for a TP out. But bad fight for Magma. Yep, I think does. Oh, by the Dragon Tail, does assemble the Aeon Disc. But he's still in trouble. There's an Orca oh, there the, with a Yule step The Yule! Disjointed play, but the Eye is still not enough to save him. Feel. Not really. I don't think he has particularly any Allies. big value this game. He gives you armor, status, resistance, and HP region. But I, I don't feel like that issue is staying alive. I feel like th their issue is they need to kill this Medusa. So I'm not sure. sure. Elephant side. They scanned as well, they know exactly where they are. And then you are just for the high ground. He shows himself in the front lines. Yank blinked him with the dragon tail, they caught the eye. Nice force up will make it get away from the arrow, but the nature's prophet is there. And that means a dead eye. Shylock is looking like paper on this Wraith King. ET's gonna buy back, make sure this fight goes away. Nice blink out from the Wraith King. Gets himself back to safety, but Yang is there with the chase. And why perhaps finding a new target is going to be the Slardar who is caught in his sprout. And this time he doesn't have a quelling blade. He had to get rid of it. FY is looking for the Yule Sept, and he's got it. Yule into Arrow. This Wraith King, no reincarnation for 20 seconds. is in all sorts of trouble. The Dragon Tail is it going to catch him. Silence helps him protect him, keep him alive a little bit longer. But FY is there with the Star Storm to finish off the kill. Grabbing that Magma lineup out, do you like it more than the Elephant drop?
draft wise feeling like they're you know playing it safe with most of their drafts not that that's a bad thing but an early smoke move from magma they're gonna run right into yang's dk who has a dragon top set up immediately gets shielded off and yet times 10 to 20 rank on the the chinese leaderboards lane it's gonna be a tornado emp on dust it's simple over and this mana but the backup is there from the abandoned fy rotating on in but we zoned away by the Abaddon. Kaz doing a good job coming in to Money save the day as Somnus will use. Anytime you see a Razor, he's the one pulling here his other lane, whereas it feels like the opposite is happening. The mid, Barge makes the rotation, catches out the Invoker on the arena. The fault's there from the with a Cold Embrace to help out Somnus, but Lina's there with an LSA Laguna Blade. The damage should be enough. Have they got detection? Yes. And they get the Observer Ward. Still playing into two stuns is not fun because you can't even get the link off like for a long time. Fire Blast, followed up with a Tornado EMP. Cold Snap. Big crit. Yuris gets the kill and Dust shows up. In oh. trouble, there was a DK rotation waiting for him with a push by follow up in the Sharpshooter. Down oh. he goes. Lina takes the spill that may not be all for Magma, who rotated in the Marge, who does have an arena, but it's already used his other spells. He doesn't have a spear to go with it, and Yuris is just chasing. Looks for the right clicks with his early armlet and reincarnation. He's very hard to deal with. Killing him once is hard because the armor toggles and then he's got that second life as well. Now, I'm sure that the Radiant Ops, as you can see on the right side of the, around the mid lane, just below the bottom rune, like that Radiant Ops. Yep. Magma is doing another desperate move, trying to open the top side of the map, yep. but... Oh, nice crawling blade through the trees. Somnus. Oh, he gets oh, wow. the out. He does get clipped by the slow, but he was ready for it, but still gets caught in the arena and the spear through. We'll finish him off and super tp into this one, as did Eurus. We're just looking to turn this one around and with the DK Dragon Tail coming out on this lane and this could spell trouble for Dust. Yours is Boy. losing his mana to the mana drain. Okay, he's gonna be forced back to Dust. Can he get this TP out? Surely not. He gets out! Why? Dust! No! 150 go away. Nice, nice fuel dodge on the EMP. Dust trying to pull off the Bushwhack on two. Caught the Abaddon. Brings down the line and now Abaddon could be in some trouble. Get the break from the sharpshooter. With the BKBs, because you're just so much stronger than your opponent, I think that is a better approach than trying to Dyer's save for a late game that doesn't really exist attack. for you. The magma. Bit of a mistake. Elephant, they go for a smoke and Somnus accidentally broke the smoke, but they should still find a kill. They get the lion mid, and they may get a full-up kill with the Abad, and he gets thrown up in the tornado. They get dropped down, and another... I, I, I don't think that they're gonna kill anyone for Magma. They, they're gonna buy three BKBs, they're gonna survive. Yeah, they. I, I don't feel like they sync up their moves at all with Siege Creeps early, so... As... Pop. Oh. Yuris just trying to force that one out with a couple right clicks. Hiding in the tree, blinks Oh, it. no, bro. I could get blocked by the curse for the BKB from Dust. Not maybe the best target. They throw everything on a Wraith King who has got an ultimate. And they're not even going to hit that first life. He's got three lives with this Aegis. Very peculiar for the good for him. The Invoker, a much better target. And they'll find the Invoker. That's the kill they're looking for. Skylock charges it with his BKB. Which one's going to pull back in the Lina? And that's going to set Eurus up on the Wraith King for a great Earth Cycle. The Lion! To keep the Lina alive, the LSA Bulb is there for Yank. BKB's just in time to help make sure they get the kill on the Lina. Now the chase is on, they want more, they want Feezy on the Mars. And with the Dragon Tail said, they sure as hell will get him. Bushwhack searching, not to find any more. Feezy, ooh, barely ends up going down the Wraith King. Right now, like, look, right? Elephant have, like... Oh. I think they're ready, they may have even seen this smoke. They Elephant themselves smoke up the Wraith King in the front line, Lincoln with a Hex Light. That is not who you want to be going on, my friend, and Yang is here for the counterplay. DK has BKB, the Winter's Curse onto the Razor, that's a problem. There's no damage in the Razor, but it's just setting things up for a potential follow-up here. As the Lina goes charging with the BKB, takes out the Wyvern, not a bad start, actually. And the Wraith King, he's losing his mana, he's got the Aegis skill. That's going to protect him a little bit longer. He is going to end up losing the Aegis, still has reincarnation for a second life, but the pushback pulls back in the Razor, and he's going to go down. This Invoker with the BKB timing needs to be careful. The BKB wears off Lion, blinks in with the Earth Spike into a finger, and that's going to set the kill as not bad for Magma, but they are running out of gas here, hiding in the trees. No answers for this Wraith King who still has the reincarnation. He slices up the line and he wants Kaz as well. No bar of time available. FY has everything available to him to slow down the Abbas. For this Wraith King, TZY actually did something really good on the mask last fight. He went for the Wyvern and killed the Wyvern really early in the fight. I think that's what they need to do. 
Oh, they need those. They do not <laughs> they ignore him. They throw yeah, something. The they ignore him. They now they find and again the Mars gets the backline. It's super on the wipe and he does get off the golden brain. Empire dies. It's good support caught on this one. Dust did not have mana for a Lagoon and Blade, but Super should still die. Yes, he barely goes down. Now Shylock can go with the static link, gets the DK for the Dragon Tail disengage, and Eurus is just a one-man wrecking machine on the front lines. And with the BKB from Shylock, he's gonna be careful. And players fall back for this one. When that BKB wears off, they're in all sorts of trouble. Dust shows up the two-man oh. tornado, catches them with a sharpshooter, and Shylock needs to kind of A on this, which you gotta imagine will come later as well. Burchamp will be claimed. That's the axe shot on Wraith King we kind of mentioned. He doesn't have to buy one, he's gonna get a free one. True. Gone now. Okay, great thing on the front lines. Onyx oh, Shield is there, and Lina just instantly BKBs, but gets cursed during this one. Also, that's Razor, and they're going to be a blink in from the lead against the back. Oh, Hyper goes down once again. Great job finding the supports. Dust is playing these fights really well. The problem is, this feels like they don't have a carry, and well, they don't, because Razor, he's dead. B got kited by the Winter Curse, and he ends up going down. Solmus is Invoker. He'll be in some trouble as BK goes blinking and looking to finish off the Abaddon. And the Invoker ends up being A-OK, -okay. the damage just wasn't there, even with the Finger of Death, Radiant's he just didn't get a chance to use it in Magma. Attack. Only the Mars left. Like rank 4 or something in China, you know, this guy? Okay. He's and Brute Mothers and stuff, and they learned from them, Radiant's for those heroes, because they played those heroes so much. But in China, Radiant's you don't have that, because China plays random draft, you can't spam a hero. And it's crazy, because yeah, that guy who's like maybe rank 500 by hero spamming, or now the hero, he's not going to be Radiant's quite as good, and they probably like 5,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever it may be. As look, Elephant looking for the killing. Oh, Bad doesn't even get a chance to ulti. He just got one shot by the crit. Eurus has the reincarnation to fall back on, but he's hoping to perhaps not lose that first life. Does get to we'll see if they can make any kind of flashy last minute plays. It's, the game plan always seems to be jump the Wyvern, but Wyvern with a blink on the back lines is problematic. It's easy. Well, he has the Aphotic Shield, but he just linked into a little bit of heroes. Does get the BKB off, and they're going to put some pressure on Eurus, who does have the Aghanim Shard, so even if you burn his mana, he's still going to get the ulti off, and they can't even kill him. One with the Winter's Curse, the Sunstrike, the Wombo Combo! The Cataclysm comes raining down from above. Now the triple Chaos Meteors as well. Somnus putting on a show at the end here. There will be a Yule Dodge from Dust to keep himself alive in the fountain. He does still go down for Team White and Elephant. 2-0 their way to the second round.